Hello everyone, happy week to you. For those of you in the US, how was your 4th of July? I hope you guys had a good week and a good day off. Ours was just kind of low key, we didn't really do much, but we did go and take a walk on the green belt and took our dog and of course, that was probably about the hottest part of the day. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, that's just when we got to it. And then we just came back and we had some Polish sausages and nothing too great for dinner. It's just the two of us, so we kept it low key. Last year, we were coming back from our trip on the 4th of July, and I had really hoped to see fireworks going off as we, you know, flew over the great United States of America, but <laughs> it was very disappointing because you really couldn't see much from the air and there just didn't seem to be that many fireworks going off. Last year seemed like it was really a low key fireworks kind of year everywhere. This year, man, our our neighborhoods around us have, they've been building and expanding, but also so many people moving in that the 4th of July is so completely different now than it used to be, you know, even a few years ago. With more people here, they're buying bigger and badder fireworks and they just went off for, oh gosh, they started at somewhere around 8.30 and it wasn't even dark yet because it doesn't even get dark till like 10.15 <laughs> the four, in July. Um, but then they just went on and on and on and on for three hours straight, drives my dog batty, which is partly why we don't really go anywhere to watch fireworks anymore because she just gets so scared by all the noises that she just shivers and I don't want to leave her home alone. She goes berserk. So... You know, if she has one of us to cuddle up to, she can do that. But if you just looked out the window, they had those big M80s going off and just all kinds of like pop, 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 wow, boom, bam, boom. Anyway, it looked, sounded like a professional fireworks show at the end of it, <laughs> you know, and they always do the big finale, but it was all around us in the neighborhoods. And I mean, these were the big professional, the kind that you see up in the sky and it it scares me a little bit because this year wasn't so wet or it wasn't such a dry year but some years are super dry um so those things are not super safe to have in neighborhoods but somehow people are buying them and being allowed to put them off that went on until i don't know probably around 11 or so which wasn't too bad and surprisingly nobody came out at 12 1 a.m 2 a.m to let off the big booms like there's always somebody who does that right and also on New Year's, they save them. And then on New Year's at midnight, <laughs> every hour for the next three hours. So about the time you've dropped off and the dog has calmed down, they go off again. So anyway, we're not here to talk about the 4th of July and fireworks. Sorry, it was a bit of a ramble. What we are here to do today is to make uh, some pages for our upcoming garden journals in a botanical style. But I also have this big mess all over my craft room, really. And so I have all these projects kind of like the last little bits. I'd thrown them into a couple of bins and they've been driving me nuts. So this week I decided to just start trying to figure out what on earth can I make. And I did make a few little things. But then I saw today, I was trying to figure out what to do for today's video. And I saw a video by uh, Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs. It a, came out a couple weeks ago. So see, these are all just bits and pieces of things just I needed to use them up, so I sat down and started doing that. I'm showing you here what all I've made out of that basket, but there is still a lot more to use. And I guess maybe in some respects, I find myself spending too much time piddling around with the rinky-dink stuff like this and not actually making the things I want to make. These turn out pretty cute. See, these are, these are some of those little bags from Your Creative Studio. And remember when I opened that unboxing last year, I said, hey, I can use those. Well, I finally did. <laughs> and then I made some just basic book page pockets out of pages, pages that I really didn't know what else to do with, but they turned out kind of cute, I think. These, they're thinner paper, so I reinforced. These are from a children's book. So anyway, I was doing all that, but then I saw the video today from Julie and I thought, what a great way to uh, use up some more of these scraps. Let me put this away and then I'll tell you what she did. So her idea was to make some botanical page spreads and she made them what she calls Franken paper. And she just took like these leftover pieces 
of book page, folded them in half, and then essentially extended either side to make a full page spread. So like Franken paper or like a giant snippet roll or one of those big pages, you know, where they just glue and extend and then they collage all over it. Well, what I liked about this was that she took some extra, you know, cutoffs and scraps. So you could take something like this, for instance, and then maybe like this, and you just start building your pages out and extending them to the width that you want them to be on either side. And it uses up a lot of these pieces. So this isn't exactly how I'm going to assemble this one, but it's giving you the idea because of course I don't have one already made up because I never do. It has taken me like two hours just to get everything sorted to do the video and also tidied and put away from that other mess. <laughs> it's time well spent, but it means I'm slow getting started on my, on my, uh, project in my video for you today. So what I did was I have now taken some of those pages that I didn't quite know what to do with and I've put them in a bin and these are what I'm calling middles. So they're kind of like those single pages. These are also cutoffs from books that I went through and fussy cut out the images but then I have a lot of other single pages left. And then I have what I am calling extensions. So here's little pieces and I separated out the little pieces because she was having to tear some down to fill in small bits and I thought well I got tons of them let's use those first before we start tearing big pages down or else my scraps will never go away. So these are what I'm calling the extenders. <laughs> I even have this paper pack. I found it at a thrift store and then I found it again the other day going through something I don't remember what and I was like yeah let's use that. And hers Julie's pages were in more of a botanical style, all completely botanical. I have some scraps and bits of scrapbook paper like this, so mine will be a little different. And then if we have time, because I'm not promising that we will, look at these papers. These are interesting. I don't, I don't even know what they were for. Not all of these are going to work for a botanical kind of situation, but maybe that one piece will. <laughs> these are too colorful, I would say. Anyway, hers, mine are probably gonna be a little more uh, colorful because I have scraps of scrapbook paper as well that I'm still trying to get used up. And so, however those incorporate into my extensions on the page, they might have a little more color. Hers were more neutral. If there is time at the end of all this, then we can um, decorate the pages, but I'm not promising because I don't really know if we'll get that far or not. She was using some of her washi stickers and things to to add little accents to the page. They turned out looking real cute. So her video as well, Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs, her, what she call it, no gluing Franken pages or something. Franken pages with no sewing, something. No, no gluing, of course you're gluing. No sewing, <laughs> Franken pages, I think is what she called it. We are going to glue. So really all you need is your glue stick and no sewing required and they really turned out cute. I'm forgetting something, but I don't remember what. Anyhow, so grab your stuff if you wanna craft along. It's, like she said, it's more of a craft with me than anything because you're just kind of crafting as you go. But I liked it because it's it's another way besides just collaging a lot of things to use up some of those small scraps and they really turned out really nice. So hopefully ours will too. So go ahead and get yourself situated, comfy or crafty, and then we will start these when you return to the craft table. Okay, one of the things I forgot to grab out before we started was it's just something um, to kind of give me a guide. I'm wanting to stick in an eight and a half by 11 size overall. They can be smaller if we want, but I definitely don't want them bigger because then when they're folded, I want that standard size, you know, works really well for folding as pages into your basic nine by six journal, journal cover. So Julie was using one of these as a glue base, so I'm going to use this as my guide for how big to make them as well as just the glue base. So I picked out five, five uh, to start with, and this is your hinge, basically, but it's also kind of the beginning of our page. So I picked out one out of a botanical book, picked out one out of a book of birds. So like, I wouldn't really know what else to do with this. I, I, you could potentially make a pocket out of it, but, I don't know. I already cut 
birds, you know, images from the other side as fussy cutting that I liked. Uh, there's this one that I just showed you in the intro. Here's a similar one. And then I have this one and I picked it because of this beautiful little poem here. And then this image here is somewhat naturey, botanical, but this side has a bear on it. <laughs> I don't know that bears necessarily fit the theme, but then we can extend it this way and we don't want to go, you know, we don't want to change up this, this side too much because this is as wide as we need it for that. So in order to get my center, I folded it where I wanted it and then now we just need to extend a little bit. But we could, you know, maybe take some strips and fold them around so it has a little bit more of that collage type feel. So that's, that's what we're doing. Okay, so let's start with this one. And so she just started tearing things down and part of why I kept out these little scraps was because then she was having to tear some little bits to fill in corners and I was like, I don't wanna make more scraps. I just wanna, I just wanna fill some stuff in, you know? So I decided I could just use those since they were already torn up for that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna go through my pile over here and I don't think you're gonna be able to see it very well. I'm raising you up a bit. And see so that's too samey samey, so we're not gonna do that. It's a small one. Let's, I think I want something to contrast with it, like dictionary or something ivory or brown. Hebrew page, we love our Hebrew. I even have a little piece of map in here, so a map would work too. Let's see, I wanted some, I think I had some old music. And then I have these from a children's book on birds. Some of the other things I shied away from, and I've are, part of my prep was to clear them out, are some of the older book pages that are too brittle or too fragile, because you really want something, if it's gonna extend a page, it needs to hold up, right? So I had to make sure that whatever I was uh, picking, I don't know why I'm sorting my pile into more piles. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Maybe I'm being too structured. Probably. I just kind of have to, I can't just grab and then leave like this massive mess on my desk. I am not wired that way and it drives me nuts because then I can't create. Can't create in a chaos. All right, well, since we have some Hebrew page, these are in here because when I tore them out of the book, they did not tear out straight. So essentially, And just go like this. And let's see, where's our middle? 14, let's see, five and a half. So our middle is kind of right here. So I can mark that and then I'll know, even if my thing scoots around, I'll know that that's the center. So already I didn't rip that wide enough, but that's okay. Um, upside down. No, right side up. Let's put it on this side. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. See, this isn't as easy as it looks. Maybe that's not the middle, because it's not, I have less room on one side than the other. Okay. All right, well, starting with this. All right, okay, this has to go over there. Okay, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I know, it's not fun to watch that. Okay, so what she did, and I think this was wise, was glued the edge here where it was gonna stick down and then glued the edge that was sticking down so that she knew she had good coverage on both. And I thought, that is a very wise thing to do. So we're gonna do it too. Now, I can't see if my edge lines up over there. So I'm too far away from myself. There we go. There we go. And I'm gonna just use my credit card for scraping today. And then that's buckling. So we want it to lay flat and then 
just find another piece to throw down there. And I'm not too bothered if it goes vertically or horizontally, truthfully. Because I think it'll be fine if it goes all which every which away. But I do need to make sure that that is going to cover where this starts gapping. And then tear it down a bit or not. We'll attempt to tear it down a bit. And then also I'm really getting um, hyper vigilant about <laughs> trying to not keep every tiny scrap because it's really easy to do, isn't it? Um, you get stuck in that idea and then you're just over overrun by little pieces of paper that you probably don't need to keep. Okay, I guess I needed to actually glue the whole thing on this one. There we go. Okay, we're off to a run and start. <laughs> Got glue on my mat already. Gonna wash that off, there we go. Move my pencil, okay. And this is where you get into trouble with the overthinking part of this. Um, if I move that down an inch, can you still see? There we go. There we go. Now we're both happy. All right. What's that saying? If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> it's true. Okay, I'm gonna move that over. So let's put this one here. And then the, run this along. And she had lots more botanical pages that she was using, so hers look really pretty and very, have that whole botanical feeling. So since we're tr going to be trying to um, make Edith Holden, use some of our Edith Holden pages and make garden journals, I thought, let's see how wide, well, I have my thing here, don't I? I don't need to guess, I already know. But I don't want this to extend beyond where that did, but I'm gonna have to fill that in a little bit. Okay, maybe I do, I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do. Okay. This is just an old calendar page from 2015. These are the kinds of things my husband's old company was would hand out at their, their booth at the um, medical shows and so. Sometimes we got the leftovers back at our house, but I was actually tearing them apart because they had really cool little mini maps in the back. Okay, now let's turn this over. Let's see, because of course I put glue all over the back of that. Let's see if we can't just patch that in like she did. Plus that's kind of a thin page, so it won't hurt if it gets patched in a little bit. Just going to reinforce the back side. You could also go a step further when you're ready to decorate and add lace or fabric strips. Any of those kinds of things would look cool. Okay, what about this side? How's that one looking? Okay, that's roughly the right size and shape. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I'm gonna set it over here to dry, kinda. Next, okay, so we have this guy. Did I actually get that in the middle of five and a half? One, two, three, four, five. No, no wonder it's so far off. It goes here, about three quarters of an inch off. Oh, no good, no wonder, okay. <laughs> now. Putting him here, let's try, did we do music on that one? No, let's try some music. I thought I had a strip, but the other thing is, is I don't want, I want to change up the colors a little bit, so. Here's that. I like there to be a little bit of a difference, you know? I'll go with this one. And, let's see. I like the jaggedy edge, so we're gonna keep that. And we're just gonna go here. And 
here. This came from a little mini hymnal. Once again, I need to hold it up so I can see if my edges are straight. They kind of are. This, this line is helpful, isn't it? since this was so nice the first time to use, let's just use it again. It also adds a little bit of color. We are throwing away our scraps today. So let's see, I only need to glue here <laughs> and here. So I was thinking today about how, now that it's July, it's crazy how school gets out and then the next thing you know, they're putting school supplies right back in the shops. So um, that's because the year round schools start up in July. You know, they have a shorter track for the summer break. So they're, they go back sooner. So they have to have the supplies out sooner, but I was thinking about how I stocked up on a bunch of these purple glue sticks last year, and I'm glad I did, but I don't think I really need to worry about buying very many, if any, this year, because I'm still using them, so that was nice. But if I see the three for a dollar at Walmart again, I will definitely do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is tear this. She kind of patched hers in too, so that's, that's not a half bad idea to do, using smaller, pieces and patching them in. And then, do we want color or do we just want book page? I want one of these strips I have over here. Okay, so see like this scrap right here? I liked that, I just didn't know what to do with it. Well, today's the day. I actually dug it out of my recycling so I could pull it out and use it. I don't know if that's going to be wide enough, though. I hope so. Yep, and then we'll just have to put like a little patch here. I'm going to straighten this up over here. Okay, so if I move that, let's see, let's extend that out. There we go. This was a book about butterflies. Most of this book was too brittle to, to use, but... Of these pages, we're able to make it into this pile. Let's see. Well, I'm probably being too precise, but I would like it somewhat straight, you know. <laughs> okay, so if I bring this all the way out here, yeah, okay. We are flirting with danger here to not have a glue book under that. It's kind of weird, like I have a glue mat, but then I still need my glue book. Okay, so let's get that straight-ish. Straight-ish. Okay. And then here's where one of these cute little pieces would be very handy. Let's see which of course has to be the right piece. <laughs> Definitely, that's 20. Um, too colorful, I just want a book page. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so this is from an old brochure on how to use a metronome and it is so fragile. I have been waiting for the right opportunity to use it and this is it, this is the opportunity. So, I really liked it. I saved it, but it's been very hard to actually use in things for some reason. Look at, this is how dry it is, because look at all the glue just gets sucked up in there. It's just sucking it up. Okay. Ooh, and it does not smell good when it gets all glued up. Some of these old papers really have a hinky aroma. <laughs> Stench is the word. 
So someday when we get Smell-O-Vision, you'll be able to smell that too. Okay, I want to cover up that glue spot really fast. And, and this has a line on it. This might work. Oh, I know, there's one in here that's all torn up and actually inked, which is weird, but you know, it's okay. That one has cat. If we don't want that, we can do it like this. So now I find myself using two glue mats. I guess that's okay. And I suppose it doesn't matter which side I patch from, does it? I can patch from this side too. Let's do that. Uh-oh, the doggy is warning strangers off. I am expecting a delivery today. We're gonna go out of town. You guys are gonna see this. Um, I'm just gonna extend beyond the page. I can trim that down. But yeah, we're gonna be going to the beach. So I needed to get this made and I decided to be part of a swap. And oh, see, look at me, I'm gluing the whole thing again. That's gonna be <laughs> a bad decision here in a second. Gonna wish I hadn't done that because now, see, not my brightest move. Where's that pretty rose? I, want, I don't want the line. That's where it's in the paper pad, you know? I suppose if I was just gonna cut it off, it didn't matter, but. Might still show. So yeah, we're going to the beach. So you'll be watching this. We'll be wending our way over to the coast for a few days. It's time for family reunion, which is fun. Here's another piece of music. That'll work. I don't know if it matters if your edges are straight, but the torn look is nice. So. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a little reunion get together with my husband's cousins. And so I had that, so I'm trying to get this video done, you know, so you don't miss one. But then after this, the next three weeks are going to be um, the swap that I'm involved in. So I'm trying to make sure I get my stuff out for the swap and then I have to take one with me. <laughs> mail it for my trip so it gets out on the right day and then um, my next three videos will be sharing what what came in the swap I'm gonna use my decal scissors I have these big ones so let's try them out uh, I have I'm obligated to share what on video what was in the swap but because you know it's only gonna take me like 10 minutes to share that <laughs> so I will I will also add other things into the video. So do be sure that you're watching. We have to all use the same thumbnail. So um, you'll see a lot of them with the same thumbnail out there. It's called the uh, Secret Santa Christmas in July 2023. Or words to that effect. So um, I'll be putting that in all the titles too, but the thumbnails all have to look the same. We're all using the same image, so it has a cohesive look. And then there's quite a few creators who are involved in it. So do be sure that you go check them out, give them your support. And then we're just swapping for three weeks in a row and um, and sending some favorites to each other. And then trying to watch and support each other's videos too. So that's that's fun, but it did mean I had to do two weeks worth of stuff in advance so that I don't miss miss my mailing out date. As it is, we're supposed to film the final one on like July 31st, but now that I'm only doing once a week videoing, um, mine will probably go up August 2nd. So if any of you organizers are out there hearing this, I hope you don't mind, but since I went back to once a week, that's kind of what I have to do. So it'll go up a couple days after everybody else's, but it'll still be in the same week, so I think that's okay. Now this is probably a little spotty here, but what do you guys think? I hope you guys will tune in and 
and be watching and then supporting those creators that are in that swap because that's you know that's part of the reason why you do a collaboration like that is so that everyone gets increased exposure and more support and just for fun really <laughs> fun is a really good reason you know what I want to use some of this and maybe maybe it'll just be a shorter page I do like having one straight edge because then you know that everything's lined up right. And maybe we'll just take that down a bit. Oops, where are we gonna? Better figure out where I'm going here. Okay. So down to this guy's head. And along the torn edges. Come on. And glue sticks are not very uh, directional. There you go. I'm only going to overlap that by about a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then I have this guest check. Okay, so see, like I said, mine are ending up a lot more colorful than hers. In fact, I think I'd like some color on this side. Actually, do I want to save this for the bigger page? I might save that for the bigger page. That's a map. You can help these birds know where they're going. Get these birds on the right track, huh? Migratorily speaking. I'm going to put that down towards the bottom. <clears throat> but first I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to trim it so it's a little more straight. And yes, I did just say the word migratorily, which I'm not sure is a word, but if it's not, it should be. We are now going to introduce that word to your vocabulary. It could be. I don't know. else did I want to tell you? I have a whole list of things here. I just want to make sure I get them all included. Oh, okay. So since these are going into gardening journals, my next journal is going to be a garden journal. And so it will have an element of botanicals and birds and butterflies, all that stuff. What I was wondering is if you would like to vote on the cover. And if you would like to vote on the cover, what would you like it to be? So my ideas, because so I'm open to anything. Well, first of all, since it will have some Edith Holden and I just cleaned out these books, I have some clean covers. These are a nice size. So I can use that one with this, this color. I could use any of these, hardcover. So a hardcover um, or specifically the Edith Holden. I like this one. Remember I talked about collaging or decoupaging the images, some of the images from this book on the cover. That one's pretty. Um, I could do a ring bound, like a, a three ring binder style, which I didn't bring an example over, but you know what that looks like. Here's a different. So if you like the Edith Holden style, then tell me if you'd prefer the one with the, with the uh, photographs on the cover or the one that is the plain cover. Or, if you want this hardcover, the creamy cover. So Edith Holden Photography, Edith Holden Plain, or the creamy plain. Those are the three options for hardcover. Or would you like me to use something else? If not an actual book cover or a three ring binder, I could use something like this little box, which I have, I've never actually done a journal out of packaging. I always had it in my plans, but I've not done it yet. And then um, these were the inside covers from an art book. And um, I just love that. Isn't that beautiful? So I could, I'd probably make this part of the cover on the outside and then just cover this inside with something else. So I could do something like this with the, um, the art book cover. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. What kind of cover should we use for our garden journal? Should it be binder style, hardbound, or something else? And then if it's the something else, tell me what the something else is. <laughs> 
And so I think, I think that'd be a lot of fun. I mean, I have a lot of different ways I could go with that. And so, um, you know, I have supplies for years. I could do a whole year of garden journals, but you guys would get bored. I wouldn't, but you would. Okay, I like that. I like this writing on the edge. So let's writing lines up in the corner, you know, and they're sideways, so that's kind of cool. Let's see which way does that go. All right, it's gluing off off camera here. Just give you my edges. So I think let's see. We talked about the Secret Santa in July. So that's the next three weeks. So they, like I said, my videos will all have the same thumbnail because we have to all, we're using it so it has a cohesive look, but then, um, but then you'll know there'll be other stuff in the video too, besides that. And then let's see, and then we just talked about voting on the cover and thank you, Julie. So I think we got all our topics for conversation covered today. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else I really wanted you to know. I don't recall. Let's see, here's a page from a book. And I might just do it like this and trim off the edge, or I might extend that edge, actually. Because you do want them somewhat equal. Yeah, okay, I'll extend that. All right. So Swainson's Warbler down to like this. I do like that the purple tells you where you are. Let's see, a little bit across the top. It tells you where you're actually gluing. So that's really handy. And then it does dry clear. As you can tell, it dries pretty fast. It's evaporating as we speak. And it's also going to be, see it was 100 and some degrees yesterday. So it's gonna be around that today because it's July, yay. And one thing we learned um, when we had our first daughter that year, reunion was also at the coast and I didn't know. When it's hot inland, it's cold at the coast. So um, luckily I had taken all kinds of things for her to wear, depending, and um, I was, I remember, cause she was two and a half months old and she'd had the worst diaper rash. The daycare lady gave her a diaper rash cause her house was hot. She didn't have any AC. And poor Katie, I don't know how she sat on her bum for that whole trip, but <laughs> her little bottom was so sore. But uh, she did. And then um, while we were at the coast, because it was so cold and wet, her diaper rash cleared up. I was still working at that time. I had to work till she was like nine months old and I was really, devastated about that. I had a meltdown when it was time to find daycare people because I was feeling bad that I couldn't be with her and I didn't know how to interview for daycares and I didn't really know where to look and it, it was a whole thing. It was ugly. <laughs> My poor husband. He helped me though. He had a um, some kind of program through his work that was like a daycare um, what do they call it? Can't remember. Anyway, it had a name for the program, so you could find care for all kinds of things. And so we used that, and then found we found the lady we really liked, and then she was booked up, so we couldn't use her. And so we had to use the other lady for a while until the first one had an availability. And um, so she was only at the first lady, like, well, she was there about eight weeks, because she was two and a half months when we went to the coast. <laughs> And anyway, that lady ended up moving out to Meridian. And then I saw her name later on some of the PTA stuff, like from middle school and all that. But So when Katie was about three months old, we switched daycare providers because I felt a lot more happy with the first lady. I mean, that lady. It all worked out, but poor thing, her diaper rash, she had to have been so miserable. But I remember that it was so cold on the coast and I was afraid she was gonna freeze. And then we had brought her a big old pack and play uh, for her to sleep in, but then I was afraid she'd be too cold. And so we put her in bed with us and then I didn't sleep because I was afraid we were gonna roll on her and smash her, you know, new mom problems. <laughs> the things you worry about when you're a parent. 
Okay, I'm not sure about this side. That one's okay. That one's fair. This one's patchy. But I'm thinking maybe we could just slap on here one of these images that I had already selected to decorate a page with. There we go. That might work. Um, let's see, what if we tie it in by doing that? I like that. Okay. No rhyme or reason here, just putting things down and hopefully using stuff up. Let's see, we got two more pages to go. <laughs> got sticky fingers. Wait, was that the right direction? You know what? I do want the torn edge to show. So let's let's put torn edges out. I don't think that's exactly how I had it a minute ago, but that'll do glue off of there. Let's do that. Let no glue glob go unused. Wasted. <laughs> we will waste no globs of glue here on this channel. I know. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Let's make sure this is going to be on there straight because everything else on the page is not. The whole page is crooked. <laughs> wow, okay. These are not turning out nearly as lovely as Julie's, but at least you get the idea. Yeah, I think the stickers do make a big difference too. Plus she was in the group. She'd done several by the time she started her video but I do I do appreciate the idea because I'm really I don't know why it just drives me nuts when I have so much stuff on my table okay now this one will have to get trimmed down a bit but that's okay and we could maybe make him taller and thinner and we will make a better effort to get this on there straight yes yeah, so did you guys have favorite things that you like to do at the coast there's always a fudge shop doesn't seems like when you're at the beach and that's about the only time I really eat fudge is if I'm on vacation and there's a fudge shop. So I'm thinking some fudge will be in my future. And let's see what else I like to do. I don't know. Usually try to find a sweatshirt or something. Okay, here's a scrap. And this um, was from a printable. It's either Louisa Heinzel or Artie Mays. These were too tiny. I didn't want to use them. But if I like folded it in half like this, then I'm gonna give it a pretty edge. These are too big. See the small ones. I'm gonna, this is easier than tearing with a ruler. I think I'll just wrap this around that page. To extend. Okay, some of them are going to be upside down. That's all right. We don't care. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, that's just about tall enough, so I guess we'll trim off the bottom because it's just a little bit tall, you know. So let's see. We want that to go. It's going to be a narrower page. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and then we moved it. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna have to work on it upside down so I can see this end. Okay, don't, don't move. It keeps moving. I don't know, I can't get it to like stay put while I do this. There we go. All right. It's not level with the top. Why isn't it level with the top? There we go, okay, good enough. Good enough is good enough, no? Nope. How about I glue it first and then do any readjusting I need? It's just not gonna cooperate with me. Are we in the right spot? Give or take. How come these pieces are going on all crooked? It's too late now to move it. Well, that's irritating too. 
And I'm working so hard to get my pages straight. Why aren't they straight? Help me. <laughs> Help me, please. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Oops. I have to say, even though I had the courage to take my Edith Holden books apart, I still don't necessarily have the courage to cut them up quite yet, except for the images that, um, you know, the pages I saved out to cut images and things from. Okay, what I'm going to do is trim this up a little bit. Okay. Wow, this is quite the hodgepodge. It doesn't look very botanical at all. Actually, since it's a little spot, let's just use one of these, which is why I tore them up. That works. Let's see, across the top, across this, across here, and down here. go. I hope that came on there straight. That's an interesting one, isn't it? And then I just, this is boring right here to me. So let's patch something in there. And let's tear this so it's not so straight. Let's Let's do that. There we go. That helps, doesn't it? Thought I had a piece of a dictionary page in here. If I did, that'd be really cool. With a piece of music, it could just look like a torn piece of music. That'll work. That's kind of cool. There we go. Give it some interest. And then that leaves me room to run a trim down the side if I want. This would be one that I would probably ink around the edge too. So I have one left, gotta hurry. So let's look at this guy. Okay, so that's the page. We are not necessarily gonna decorate, but I had a long strip there. I had this and I thought maybe upside down. <laughs> Maybe I could just tear it down and run it along the edge of the page so it looked like something. And this is glossy paper so hopefully the glue stick will hold. Because that's that's where my reservations come in. I am hesitant about the glue stick on glossy. Now do I want that piece? No, I'm probably gonna tear that off up there so I'll just Run the glue down this edge. Yes. Good to think about that for a minute. Make sure all my numbers are right side up. And don't cover the words. And make sure your page is straight. Obviously that thing is throwing me because I'm not getting anything straight right now. Timmy because this is a little bit sticky and these are Teflon, these Teflon scissors, nothing sticks to them like, like it does to the other stuff. Okay, so what I wanted to do was also tear down this side and wrap it around. I am getting hungry. <laughs> I need to go eat something after this. 
course I was getting hungry right as I decided to film it. I don't know if you noticed, my rings are still off because my hands have been so puffy ever since our cruise. I went and got a massage like that week after we got back and my hands have just been puffy. So I told her about that at this last massage, which means I've been puffy for like five weeks. Um, but I've really been trying to work on eating better and making sure I was getting more hydration, obviously, and moving around more. And um, I think they are getting better finally, but I tried all my rings today and they're still really tight through the knuckles. So is that my new normal? Am I just gonna have <laughs> tight knuckles? I was really worried because it was so tight down through here that um, I thought I was gonna lose circulation. So that had me a little concerned. So I was like, ah, gotta take steps to do something about that. Okay, and there's that. So that adds something pretty to that side. Okay, so now over here, let's work on extending this side and then we'll decide what to do in there because we may or may not cover the bear. I don't know. This wouldn't go in a botanical journal, let's just say that. So, you know me and I love my raggedy edges. I'm not sure that that's my wisest move though. Let's see. What else have I got over here? Ooh, I got this one. This one's cool. Yeah. Okay, I cannot tear straight either. There we go. Throw that in the trash. Okay. So if that is there, I want this to extend out to here. And you go right about there. Again, glossy page and glue stick. Not sure. Not sure if they can coexist. <laughs> okay. I do that wrong. We're gonna cover up the grizzly bear, maybe. <sighs> Doggone it. I needed to glue this side. I, don't know. I guess we'll lay it down. Let's see if we can get that off of there now. Wipe it down, dry it off, hope for the best. Fingers crossed. Ugh. Okay, there's that. And then I think we just need to kind of like patch it in. Okay, so here's a piece. When I was doing my, doing my um, well-being journal, this is a piece from that, something I cut out. Let's straighten that up a little bit. A few of its good points. to make it look more torn without it being torn up too much. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Let's see. Well, I am out of time, so I don't know if I'll finish this off camera or not. Let's see. If I stop the video right here, it means I decided to finish off camera. Because it's taking too long. Let's see, I should just scoot over a little bit. Can't believe how fast 45 minutes goes. I try to set it for like 45 and then that leaves me a little room if for some reason I have to go longer because anything over an hour for the editing and the saving and the uploading and all that, it is, it is crazy. Okay, I kind of like that there. What are we gonna do about that bear? Good grief. Okay, just have all these little pieces. What about you? Yeah, that's that'll work. That'll do. I always want to say that'll do, pig. That'll do. But unless you know the reference to babe, you're just going to get offended when I say that. <laughs> the movie Babe with the pig. Gosh, that movie's been out a really long time now. Katie was small. She was like 
2002 or something when that came out. Our, um, I remember we lived in a different house in a different part of town at that point, and um, the little girl next door, I think she was like 9, 9 or 10, having her ninth or 10th birthday, and so she had a um, babe party, and um, they went out and wrote with side sidewalk chalk, and one of the stops in front of our house was Farmer Hoggett. <laughs> that was so cute. Okay, this is kind of not straight, but I don't know that I want to make it prettier. I think it'll be fine the way it is. Oh, I wanted to use my guest check. Where did it go? I'm going to cover the bear. Sorry, buddy. Just don't fit our aesthetic. But the colors work nicely, don't they? Then you have... We have some writing space. Okay. It smells like perfume. Why does it smell like perfume? I wonder where I had it. <laughs> the only thing that I actually have perfume in is my anti the antique vintage um, travel cosmetic case that I found few years ago and it smells you know it has that marvelous little old lady smell and then when I was at um, you know what this is just gonna be shorter but I think I want a single piece to cover that so if I just bring this in like that I think that'll be fine uh, when I was at a different uh, antique store they had the timeless by Avon perfume and um, that's what it was that was the aroma of the perfume. So clearly nobody in my family had ever worn that. <laughs> I didn't know what it was called. But anyway, when I found the scent, I bought the perfume because it was only like a couple bucks or whatever. So that I could keep my keep my little um, vintage suitcase smelling the same. So that's the only place I have perfume in my craft room. But this isn't that this isn't what I'm smelling, so I don't know. Sorry, I'm sniffing it. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that is. It smells good though. Okay. Goodbye, scrap. If I need you, I'll dig you out of the trash. Okay, so this one's a little off, off center. So we didn't really get time to decorate, but uh, maybe we'll do that in the next one because I got to do the share. So we'll come back and decorate these as the other rest of that video next week so that we can get these all done, okay? So I want to see them all pretty up. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Let's clear this away a bit. Okay, so I could tell that I can feel that other piece back there and I couldn't figure out what it was. Okay, so we have this one with the birds. I did add that, which I like. Here's how it looks on the front. And then there's this one. Yeah, I really think her botanical stickers and washi tape added a lot more. So that's, we're gonna come back and gussy these up. <laughs> Prettify them. Look at that. Also, we're gonna straighten them out a little bit. I think once we're done playing with them though, I think they'll look really pretty. So tune in next week, same bat time, same bat channel. If you found value from this video, please give me a thumbs up. I've noticed they've returned the thumbs down, the thumbs down button. YouTube took it away for a while, because I mean, really, it's pointless, but they brought it back. How mean, how mean spirited of them. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so yeah, that's what we'll do in the next video. And until next week, I hope you guys have a great week. If you're on vacation, go relax. If you're not on vacation, have fun and be inspired and do something creative today. I'll talk to you in next week's video where I'm going to share my first, uh, the first thing that I have received from my secret Santa. I'll talk to you later. I'll be thinking of you all week. Bye-bye for now.